We, as a caucus, we affirm the inalienable rights of all Nigerian citizens to a peaceful protest, underscore peaceful protest. So those who have engaged in peaceful protest, they are doing what is appropriate and is recognized all over the world as such. We also endorse the proposal to pay compensation to all victims of these um, protests as enunciated by the House of Reps, which enunciation was verbalized by our right honorable speaker. So we stand with him, we align with him in, com in complete totality. We condemn the attack on the critical infrastructure and other investments in Lagos and in other southwest locations. Those things have been there, some of them before people like us were born. So it pains us to the bone to see that people will now set fire to them and they burn to ashes. That is not the way we want uh, the old children that we are giving back to to know. It is very, very wrong and we condemn it. We condemn equally in unequivocal terms the desecration of Yoruba culture, which was done by the unprovoked attacks on different places of our cultural heritage. I'm talking in particular, you go to a place like the Oba of Lagos, and that, that's a place of history. You go to the place of Shaun of Obumasho, that's a place of history. Those are places you go in many, many situations, you have to take up your cap and get out of your shoes before you enter. And then, just over the past few days, uh, for whatever ploy or reason, people go there and desecrate all these things. We really don't like that. And we want you all to know. Also, we have some leaders, not just cultural like others. Even some of our political leaders, they have been assaulted. Their investments disturbed. We don't like that. And I think we want the whole world to know that we object and we condemn that. Meanwhile, we like to reach out and condole with all the families that lost their loved ones, or for those by the grace of God that did not die, might have been injured, or even those who have been victimized in one way or another. We condone with them. And we appeal to all Nigerians at this point to please, please, please don't use the Southwest. Don't turn the Southwest to a battleground. There are those who are not from the Southwest. Yes, one Nigeria, but everybody knows where they come from. And we don't want the Southwest, particularly Lagos, that is so accommodating to everybody and to anybody, to be turned into a battleground by those who may not consider themselves stakeholders. We are stakeholders of the Southwest. We don't want the Southwest to burn. This is not 1964-65, the day of wet year. Wet year is no longer, and we don't want anything like that. Meanwhile, we want to all the youths, in as much as we said in our first statement that yes, we endorse the rights of everybody to protest peacefully. We want the youth at this point to come back home and sit down and have a rethink and get out of the mindset of any violence further. We don't want any further violence. The point has been made. The statement from there has been very clear and it's been heard not only in Nigeria but even across all the globe. We want the youth to please, at this point, to shift their thoughts and stay home and stay calm so that by the grace of God, this whole change we are looking for will happen without further damage. And um, finally, we appeal to the federal government to indeed fast track the implementation of many programs that they have outlined.